In this video, I'm going to show you different types of navigation. And what I mean by that is when we're navigating, we're usually passing a route and we have some extra functionalities over here. For example, we can be passing if we want to pop up to some route and if you want to be inclusive or if you want to save state. So as you can see, I just have this function over here, which is navigate to, and I'm just passing this stuff just to be more clean on my end. But you know, in your case, you probably do it differently. So keeping that in mind, if we check what we have here, our first line of buttons, which I've prepared, we're navigating between screens using the inclusion false. So our first settings will be if we pop up to somewhere as true and pop up to inclusive false. And if we open the lock, let's just clean it up and just go to the second tab. Every time we navigate, we'll see this uh, screen and how many screens are in the back stack. So this means when we click the back button, you know, we have only one screen because that was our first initial screen. And when we go to the next one, you know, we have this again, we're to the second tab. Now, we don't see anything specific currently because we only changed two tabs, but let's go to the third one and then we're going back to the second one as well. Now, because we have inclusive false, this means that when we go to the second tab and because we're passing the parameter, which is our route, we're passing it as well to the pop-up tool. And inclusive false means that whenever we go to this route in the pop-up tool, we don't want to exclude it actually. So when we go to it, what we expect this to happen is to keep this screen too and add another screen too but remove the third one because we want to go back and remove everything that's between these two and you know whatever comes next because we're going back to it yeah so when we click on inclusive tool as we can see we have removed the third tab and we've added a second tab if this was inclusive true that means that we were going to have only one screen uh, base to tap i mean it might be a little bit confusing um, but you, you see what I mean. So if we go again to tab number three, and remember, we're just using the top bar over here. When we go to the tab three, we can see that we have again base one, two, two, and the third one. So we have, you know, two of these ones of the second tab. Now we can click on the three again, and we're going to be adding three again, because again, inclusive is false. Now, if we would like to go to for example, tab one, what we will see here is we have base one and base one again. Like we can see, yes, it's base one and base one again. Now we can see how this works with inclusive false, but let's make things more clear when we actually go to the next one, which is again, very similar to that, but it will be inclusive true. Let's relaunch this and clean it up. So let's work with the second tab with the second row of buttons right now. Let's go to the second tab. And again, it's nothing different. I mean, we just have these ones, right? But now when we want to go back to the second tab, and the last time, remember when we had the inclusive false, it was if we go back to here, we're going to be just removing the tab three and adding another base tab two. So in this case, it will be just, we're going to be going back to this one, but not adding another. So when we click on it, our back stack only contains two of them. And when we go to the one, it's the same. We just have one of them. We're not stacking, you know, the same screen over and over again. And of course, if we would like to relaunch it, for example, click uh, multiple times on it, we just have one screen because we're going back and we're saying, well, we don't want to include this, you know, a second time in the stack. So that's why inclusive true. Now let's check something a bit more different than that. When we see our third tab, let's see what it does. Our third tab currently contains launch single top, pop-up two, and the pop-up has save state. And also we have restore state over here. So what does that mean? There is cases and there are a lot of cases and the perfect one is actually over here. We have, you know, this bottom tab bar that we would like just to open. Every time we click on it, we would like to open it once, right? And 
that's a perfect scenario for like very common case with a bottom navigation or whatever kind of navigation. Usually we would like to open something once and have some state saved in it. But we're going to be checking a couple of things. Let me first show it to you and then we're going to be actually seeing the different parts. Now the important part, it's not even in the console here, but the important part that we need to check is over here. We have three different types of randoms. The first one it's with savable state and the second one is with just remember and the third one is just a random number and actually let me show it for you first so you know what i mean remember with savable we have the second with just remember and the third one is just a random number but let's see how three of them work when we go to the second tab and the third tab now Keep in mind these numbers here, for example, random 0, 93 and 91. When we go back to this, let's see 81, 57. And as we can see, the first number from random is actually staying the same. It's 82 and 0. So it's not changing, but all the other numbers are changing which is something you might want for example you go somewhere and you want to keep that state and that's exactly what safe state is doing but let's check the second number which is random two if we want to launch the tab again for example we're in tab three and we just want to click on it again we can see that the second number is not changing so this second number is our remember so this one will stay the same as long as we're just clicking on the same tab. So no state is changed here. But if we change it, of course it is. But we're keeping the random number, which is from remember savable. So these are three different types of, and of course we don't have any savable over here. So this is just a random number, but you know, this is how you can manage different states in your screens and based on what you want you know you can use something differently maybe you just want to keep it like the state between the screens or you want to keep the state only when you're in that screen so that's why you know we have this type of states and when we check the code now it makes a lot more sense because we have this savable which keeps the states between the screens and we have this just remember which is keeping the state within the same screen and we have this random which just you know it's just a random number so every time it changes but seeing it visually it just helps you a lot just understand you know how it works so let's do one more check and this will be let's just remove all this and we can just keep the launch single top right because we haven't tested this by its own so let's do that now the expected result here should be very similar to the previous one but again because we have removed this part which is save state we are not saving the state when we're going between the screens so what we expect here is that the random value over here which was being saved between the screens the first one now it should not be but when we're on the same screen it should be saved like when we click here a couple of times on tab one we can see that the third one is changing when we go to the second one you know it's the same but when we go between them the first one is 77 and when we go back it's 85 because we removed this part of the code we're not having this functionality which is understandable but this is just a showcase how and why you can use this stuff you know just depending again what you need but seeing it visually it usually helps a lot so this was it for this tutorial i hope you liked it and if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more